Hi everyone, I'm Laura with Red Desert Violin and my instrument needs some new strings so I thought I might as well film how I change my strings and try to explain it to you as I go. Before I do anything I want to show you something about the pegs um, to kind of help you know what your ultimate goal is when you're changing your strings. It's really helpful if you put the pegs so that they fit in the slot of your fingers when you're tuning. You can see that this peg fits really nicely, it's comfortable. This peg is not. It's in a very awkward position. So I'd probably want to redo that one and adjust the tail. I'll explain tails to you when I'm changing my strings, but you can control how your pegs land based on how much tail you stick through the hole in the peg. So you can see these two are pretty good. They're in a pretty good, comfortable position. So I can wrap my fingers around the scroll and then I can tune and I've got lots of strength. Whether you're changing the whole set or just one string, I don't usually, I, of course I'm not going to take all four strings off because then your bridge would fall and your sound post might fall. So you want to maintain the pressure or the tension on your instrument. So I'm, I usually just change the A string. That's this peg here. That is your A peg, E peg, so those are on this side, D peg, and G. Very important to get those right. Okay, you just kind of unwind your A, take it on out of there. I get kind of rough sometimes and I just pull it, and that won't hurt anything. Okay, and then my, my tail piece is really dumb because the ball will not fit through that hole. It's supposed to, but it doesn't. So I have to pull it out the hard way. And I have to do that on all my strings, which is really dumb. Okay, so there's one very worn out A string. I save them just in case. Just in case I break a string at a concert and I need one that's already stretched. Okay, this is a dominant A. I use dominants because they're affordable and consistent and professional quality. Hey, that one went through the hole. That is the first time that's happened since I've owned this violin. So you put the ball through the hole and slide it up into the slot and it may fall out it sometimes falls out before you get tension on it. Now here's the important part I need to explain. Your peg has a hole in it and you are going to... Let me get rid of this violin first for a second. You're going to thread your string through the hole and you're going to turn it and see what kind of tail you've got. And I know from a lot of experience that I need about that a lot of tail like that much or very little tail in order to get my pegs to line up where I want them so I prefer a lot of tail so that it doesn't accidentally slip out and then your your string won't stay wound so start with a lot of tail you can always pull it down and out a little bit more if you don't like where it's set up your peg then one other thing because it's easier to see when you're when it's out when you're winding it you're going to go one time around to the, uh, to the scroll, towards the scroll side of the tail. And then all the rest of the turns are going to go towards the peg. So I guess I should say that another way. You're going to go one turn towards the end of the peg and then cross over the tail and the rest of the turns are going to be toward the peg. I'll show that to you one more time. There's your tail. You will wind away from you. That's also very important. Do not wind under like that. That is very wrong and it'll screw things up. You will wind over like so. And you're going to go once over the tail on the, toward the end of the peg then you're going to cross over 
and you're going to go all the rest of the turns on that side of the peg like so. Okay, so now we'll actually stick the peg back into the violin. I'll do my best to show you. You can see that hole up in there. A is one of the harder ones because it's really cramped back in there. So just stick that tail in as far as it will go because it'll only go so far. Okay, now I'm going to wind away from me, over. I don't know how to explain that, but okay, now can you see my tail? I'm going to go once towards the end of the peg, and then I'm going to go over towards the head of the peg. Okay, and the rest of the turns are going to go that way. Now my ball fell out of my hole down here, so I'm going to put that ball back in, slide it up into the slot, and you can see here I'm just trying to keep the tension with my thumb. You can do that however you want. It's not, that's not important. You'll figure that out. The important part is the direction you're winding and how you handle that tail. Okay, and then to keep your peg jammed into that into the hole there, you'll want to push in with your peg just a little bit. You shouldn't need to do it a lot. And I can tell already that I didn't get my peg in the right spot especially once this string stretches. I'm going to have to tune that peg until it's almost flat. So I did the tail a little bit wrong, but I can fix that. 